This is me. I am nine years old. I live in Tallinn, the capital of Soviet Estonia, in a new apartment district. My childhood is currently not bad, because I can see Finnish TV. In the spring of 1982, we were visited by our relatives from southern Estonia, where the Finnish television broadcasts had never been seen. We were watching Dallas on that Friday night with our family. Our relatives watched the series with us, but they saw a different Dallas. They saw a captivating spiritual seance where my mom was the medium who translated all those foreign characters, relationships and words into Estonian. Who's there? Are you in here? The season's last episode. JR alone in his office. The door opens. Somebody enters. JR goes to look. Two shots. JR falls down. End credits. Who shot JR? I promised Urva, my cousin, that I would write her every week to describe what had happened in Dallas so that the beautiful link to the real world she saw in our home would never disappear. Kirjutan sulle viimase tuttuse kõik haiglased seejad vaatama. Seeja viidi kiirabiga haiglased ei surnud ja vära. Kõik kahtlustasid sisnetu eri hiljem ja uudis popi. It is 1971 and a new, powerful TV tower is installed near Helsinki. 80 kilometers to the south, in the Soviet Estonian capital, Tallinn, some antennas are receiving the Finnish television broadcasts. Immediately, a forest of new antennas grows on the rooftops of Tallinn, and all of the antennas are pointed at Finland. The communist leadership of Soviet Estonia is troubled by these events. A high-ranking committee is sent out from Moscow to determine the seriousness of the situation. This man, along with his sociologist team, is ordered to find out just how much influence Finnish TV has in Estonia. Tehti väga põhjalik ja korralik täiesti kindine uurimus. Päris kindlasti olid Eestist saadud saadud tulemused Moskva ideoloogidele muret tekitavad. See häiris neid, sellele tuli vastu astuda. Moskva's committee demands that the ideological diversion be stopped. The authorities start planning a counterattack. Why the panic? We possess secret documents that show how the airwaves of Finnish television have pushed the Soviet kids to the forefront of the Cold War. There's something about a Big Mac that keeps you coming back, keeps you coming back. Was it a coincidence that such images bombarded the minds of children in Soviet Estonia? The Communist Party decides that the influence of capitalist television upon the Soviet Estonian population must be stopped. Something a lot more effective is required. What to do? This man is one of the former Soviet Estonian television executives. An answer is demanded of him. He is now ready to reveal what really happened in the shady offices. <laughs> Otseselt ütles, et on vaja luua niisugune süsteem, mis segaks vaenulike kanavite lõi meie Eestima pinnal. Space Age technology must be the answer. Somewhere in the secret labs, the authorities come up with an efficient battle plan. They need to put jammers on the Gulf of Finland. By 1982, the horrible final solution requires only a signature and a push of the button. Don't miss the next. Of course, little Jak and Urva have no idea, just like the tens of thousands of other children spending their days in Soviet Estonia that summer. How long will little Urva keep receiving letters from Jak? What will happen to Pamela and Bobby? Can Soviet engineers design the world's first unique TV broadcast jamming system? Who really guides the waves of Finnish television? Did Sue Ellen have an affair? Will the people in the oppressed city of Tallinn ever see those beloved ham and chewing gum commercials again? Who shot JR? Jaak Kilmi ja Kiu Raarma, mänguline tokfilm. Disco ja Tuumasada, alates 10. aprillist.